Hi everyone, this is Babaya, Assistant Professor of ECE Department from MLRIT Hyderabad. Today I am going to explain about the effects of feedback on control systems. In previous lecture, we learned what is been by feedback and types of feedbacks. The, the feedback, when we are going to use the feedback in control system, what are the effects are going to be faced or what are the effects are available in control system. Now we are going to learn all this. Be, uh, next coming to our overview of today's session is just observe the effect of feedback on overall gain and the effect of feedback on sensitivity, the effect of feedback on stability and the effect of feedback on noise. All these are now we are going to learn. Coming to the first one is effect of feedback on overall gain. What is mean by feedback? We learn from the previous session. What is mean by feedback is nothing but the pre, uh, some of the output or else output is written back to the input side and it is used as a system input. Then the type is or else that part is nothing but the feedback. Next here effects of feedback on the overall gain. Now we are going to consider here, just I am going to consider the negative feedback control system. In that negative feedback control system, we get the oral transfer function T equals to G by 1 plus GH. T is the oral transfer function, G is the open loop gain, H is the feedback gain. All the G and H, these two are in the frequency domain or in the function of frequency domain. Here from the equation 2, this I call it as when the equation to from this equation we can see that the overall gain of negative feedback of the closed loop control system is the ratio of g and 1 plus gh just definition from this here the overall gain of the closed loop transfer function t equals to g by 1 plus gh means here the overall gain of the closed loop uh, overall gain of the closed loop transfer function with negative feedback control system is defined as the ratio of g by 1 plus gh so here for that the overall gain may be increased or decreased based on the here based on the overall gain t value is t is nothing but overall gain this will be is may be increased or else may be decreased depending on the value of 1 plus gh depending on the value of 1 plus gh for example for the first case i consider as if the value is 1 plus gh is less than 1, I consider as 1 plus gh is less than 1 condition. In this condition, the overall gain will be going to increase because of the gh value will be going to negative. So, negative, so the feedback path also negative. In that condition, 1 plus gh value is less than 1 condition. The overall gain of the closed loop transfer function or else the overall gain of the system is going to be increased when the 1 plus gh value is less than one condition. Next consider the second condition I am going to consider here for the 1 plus gh value is greater than one condition I consider. In this condition when the 1 plus gh value is greater than one condition the overall gain going to be decreased. The overall gain or transfer function going to be decreased. In this case the gh value is positive because of 1 plus gh is greater than 1. So, gh value is positive because of the gain of the feedback path is positive. Here 1 plus gh is less than condition, the gh value is negative because the gain of the feedback path is negative. Here these two conditions are occur. In general, g and h, these two values, g and h, these two are in the function of frequency, we know. For that, the so the feedback will be increased increases the overall gain of the system in one frequency range and decreases the frequency or decreases the uh, overall gain in another frequency range we have a two g and h two functions are there the two are in the function of frequency so the feedback will be increases in one frequency range in another frequency range the overall gain will be going to be decreased. So, that is why 1 plus gh is less than 1 condition, we will get the 
we will get the value is overall gain going to be increased. 1 plus GH is greater than 1, the overall gain going to be decreased based on this transfer function of the negative feedback closed loop transfer function t equals to g by 1 plus gh means here the transfer function or overall gain t is reciprocal of the 1 plus gh if the 1 plus gh value is less value the t wave will be going to be increased if the 1 plus gh is less than 1 the t will be is going to be uh, greater than 1 the t will be going to be decreased like that okay next coming to the effect of feedback on the Sensitivity. What is meant by sensitivity? The change in the output with respect to the input or with respect to the change in the input is known as the sensitivity or else the sensitivity can be divided by or else can be defined by the sensitivity of the overall gain of negative feedback of the closed loop control system T to the variation in open loop gain G. Here open loop gain is G. And here the negative feedback closed loop control system of the overall gain is T. The change in the change in the negative feedback closed loop control system overall gain T to the open loop gain G means here uh, sensitivity is represented with the capital S. This one capital S and this is the just output T to the variation with the g this is our change in the t to the change in the g value overall gain to the loop gain percentage change in the t to the percentage change in the g i consider as the equation 3 this is the sensitivity here observe dou t is nothing but dou t is nothing but the incremental change in t due to the incremental change in the g that equation I am going to write, this one is I am going to rewrite S G T or S T G dou T by dou G into G by T. Now I am going to write this equation into this form. This one is move into this form. After that, I consider as the equation 4. Next, I consider as the negative feedback closed loop transfer function t equals to g divided by 1 plus g h for this i am going to differentiate or partial differentiate differentiation with respect to g with respect to g on both sides now when we are going to apply this partial differentiation for this equation for the second equation i am going to get this one here based on this dou t by dou g dou t by dou g dou by dou g of this we know that t equals to g by 1 plus g h we are just a substitute this u by v form here dou by dou g or else dou by dou t u by v form u by v form here u into v derivative or else v dou v by dou g minus here v into u derivative means here dou u by dou g divided by v square this is the formula or else u by v form u into v derivative minus v into u derivative divided by v square from this formula we are going to get this one one we are going to get the one by one plus gh whole square this is i consider as the equation is Five. Next, coming to the second equation here, we know T equals overall gain of the closed loop negative feedback control system T equals to G by 1 plus GH. For this, T equals, I am going to write this one, T, this G, G divided by T equals to 1 plus GH simply. So, now in place of G by T, I am going to write the 1 plus GH. G by T equals to 1 plus GH. I consider as the one of the equation 6 but just observe here substitute down this equation dou t by dou g and g by t substitute all these two equations in the e previous 
equation or else fourth one equation just fourth equation this one just observe dou t by dou g and g by t g by t we know 1 plus g h dou t by dou g we got the value 1 by 1 plus g h whole square just to substitute 1 plus g h 1 plus g h 1 on term is get cancelled 1 by 1 plus g h this is the sensitivity sensitivity equals to 1 by 1 plus g h is nothing but now we get the sensitivity of the overall gain of closed loop transfer function system as the reciprocal of the value or means the reciprocal of the 1 plus g h the sensitivity is the reciprocal of 1 plus g h so sensitivity may be increased or decreased depending on the value of 1 plus g h only because of the sensitivity is the reciprocal with the 1 plus g h so the sensitivity may be or else it may be increased or else decreased the based on the value of 1 plus g h only i am going to consider the one condition just here 1 plus g h is less than one condition here 1 plus g h is less than one condition then the sensitivity going to be increased if the 1 plus g h value is less than 1 here just observe 1 plus g h value is less than 1 means here sensitivity is inversely proportional or else reciprocal with the 1 by 1 plus g h so 1 plus g h is the less than 1 condition the sensitivity going to be increased sensitivity going to be increased that condition here the g h value is negative because the gain of the feedback path is negative next coming to the second condition if the value is 1 plus g h is greater than 1 condition i am going to consider the 1 plus g h is greater than 1 condition just here observe sensitivity this sensitivity is reciprocal with 1 by 1 plus g h this 1 plus g h and second case 1 plus g h is greater than condition 1 greater than 1 means sensitivity going to be decreased here sensitivity going to decrease when the condition is 1 plus g h is greater than 1 condition so the g h value is positive because the gain of the feedback path is positive next consider here g and h these two are in the functions of frequency we know so the feedback will be increases of the sensitivity feedback will increases the sensitivity of the system gain in one frequency range in the another frequency range the sensitivity feedback will be decreases the sensitivity of the other frequency range next therefore we have to choose the value of g h in such a way that the system is in sensitive or else less sensitive to parameter variation changes this g and h are the parameter variations these g h values are we are going to choose to maintain the insensitive or else less sensitive of this system by varying the parameters g and h this is the effect of feedback on the sensitivity next coming to the effect of feedback on stability effect of feedback on stability what is mean by stability stability so a system is said to be stable when we are going to say the system is stable if its output is our control or else in under control then that type of systems are called as the stable systems or stability otherwise it is said to be unstable just here observe a system is said to be stable if its output is under control if output is under control the type of systems are called as a stable systems or stability otherwise it's said to be unstable consider a uh, closed loop transfer function with using the negative feedback control system that is the overall gain t equals to g by 1 plus g h for this, this is the second equation from the second equation t is g by 1 plus g h from this equation just to if the denominator part or else the denominator value is equal to 0 g 1 plus g h equals to 0 means g h equals to what minus 1 then the output of the control system will be going to infinity value means here t equals to g divided by g h value minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 1 minus 1 is nothing but g divided by 0 value the something by 0 is nothing but the infinity so overall gain going to be infinity means infinity is nothing but the undefined value so that's why in this condition the 
system is going to be unstable the remaining condition is stable so that's why here if the value of 1 plus gh is equal to 0 the gh is equal to minus 1 then the output of the control system will be going to the infinity in this condition the control system becomes a unstable therefore we have to properly choose the feedback in order to make the control system is stable so we need to choose the proper feedback to maintain the system is stable next coming to the effect of feedback on noise just here observe the effect of feedback on noise just to i am going to consider the open loop transfer function and closed loop transfer function uh, that uh, just here observe i am going to consider the open loop transfer function with the noise signal uh, here reference signal input and this is the noise signal and output is c of s i am going to consider as r of s is going to 0 and for this condition the input signal is n of s c of s is the output for this c of s by n of s is going to gb this is the noise signal c of s by n of s equals to we get the gb this is the gain when the open loop transfer function is used with the noise signal And next uh, coming to the closed loop just here observe our input signal is there and noise signal is applied to the system and this is the output and feedback signal i am going to now consider as r of s equals to zero right this n of s is our input and c of s is the output for this c of s by n of s is equals to this gb value divided by here n with the symbol is negative the feedback is negative so we get the positive 1 plus opposite sign just 1 plus gb divided by ga and h these two are just multiplied and this one 1 plus ga gb and h these two are multiplied and this value divided by this one is the feedback so g divided by 1 plus ga gb and h this is the noise signal when we are going to use the noise signal in the closed loop transfer function it is uh, by obtaining the um, by making the r of s is 0 we will get the this transfer function or c of s by n of s uh, sig uh, nice signal we will get this value or this factor here just to compare these two uh, the uh, same uh, G c of s by n of s equals to gb for the open loop transfer function for this one is the closed loop observe these two from these two if the closed loop or else in the closed loop control system the gain due to noise signal this gain due to the noise signal going to be decreased by a factor of 1 plus g a g b h here there is a denominator term is not mentioned here or else there is a no denominator term means here in open loop system the gain going to be increased or else increased gain g b here denominator factor 1 plus g a g b and h are available so that's why the 1 plus g a g b h based on this factor the controls the closed loop control system gain due to the noise signal going to be decreased this is the one of the effect so these are the some of the effects of the feedback on the control system what are the feedbacks uh, if the um, feedback is used in control system uh, we are going to um, get the uh, sensitivity uh, effect on the sensitivity and effect on the noise and effect on the overall gain and effect on the stability all these are the uh, effects when we are going to use the feedback on the control system this is about the feedback and effects of the feedback uh, I hope you understand uh, every effects of the closed loop, uh, every effect of the um, feedback on the closed loop control system, RSN control system. Thank you, one and all.